Hey, uh, thank you very much for joining today. Uh, my name is Yuasabe, and today we'll be going over um, how we can create a new Lanelet 2 map uh, for the AI Challenge Racing Simulation Competition. So first here, we have the Tier 4 account portal. Uh, you can go to here by going to account.tier4.jp slash login. So if you have not created your account yet, you can go here to sign up. And by entering your names here and your email address and your password, you'll be able to create the tier four account, which you can then use to use the vector map builder tool. So this is all for free. So please try it out. Um, I already have my account here created. So I like to log in. And here you can see they provide you with uh, various tools, but today we'll be focusing on the vector map builder. So I like to open the vector map builder. And this shows us this screen here. Um, this is basically a tool where you can edit Lanelet to format maps and add different sorts of uh, road abstractions, add um, lanelets or line strings, points, and basically um, whatever you need to edit your lanelet to maps. So here I would like to go to file, import lanelet to map. And then from here, I can browse into uh, my folder, my folder where I have the AI challenge 2023 racing um, repository. And then I go into the Docker folder, the AI challenge folder, AI challenge underscore WS folder, source folder, AI challenge submit folder. And then inside the AI challenge submit launch, there's a folder called map. I like to go here. And then I would like to select the lanelet to map.osm file. So I'll open this. And everything else you can just leave as it is and click import. And once you click import, you can see that it has imported us the Lanelet 2 map. So using your mouse or trackpad, you can uh, pan and uh, scroll to zoom in. And you can, for example, if you, if you select a Lanelet here, you can see that you have selected this Lanelet, which is actually quite long. It goes all the way up to here. And on the right-hand side panel here, you can see the different uh, configuration, the different attributes for this lanelet. So you can see it's a road type, and also the speed limit here is set to a maximum of 100 kilometers per hour. And in order to edit on uh, some parts of the lanelet, you have to also import a point cloud map. So in order to do that, I would like to go to File, Import, PCD, stand for Point Cloud Map. And then once again, go into the same directory I was at. So AI Challenge 23 Racing, Docker, AI Challenge, this source, AI Challenge Submit, AI Challenge Submit Launch, and then Map. And then inside here, I should see the Point Cloud Map .psd. Um a PCD, sorry, which is about 110 megabytes. So I'll choose this. And everything else you can leave as it is and click import. And this might take a while since it's uploading a 100 megabyte uh, file uh, sized file. But once that is done, you can see that the point cloud has been up uploaded. And you can see if you zoom in the uh, point cloud of the uh, Monzo track map. And once you have done this, you can start editing uh, various parts of the map. So for example, you can notice here that this is a very long lanelet here. And the whole thing is set to 100. Uh, the whole thing is set for a maximum of 100 kilometers per hour speed, speed limit. Uh, but for example, this part where it clones gain on a curve. So we wanted to set the speed limit a little lower. Um, so first we can... um. we can split this lanelet into two parts. And in order to do that, um, you can first select this 
one side of the linglet, this line string, you can select it. And once you select it, it becomes yellow like this. And then you can go up to the top and in the linglet to maps panel, you can see that there's an option called insert point to line string. So I like to turn that on. And when you do make sure that you already have this line string selected, and then you can then click the line string here. And when you do, you can see that it has created a point here on the line string. And then you can unselect the insert point to line string. And then we can go over to the other side here, select the line string, select insert point line string, and then click right around here. So now you can see they have these two points on either side of the lanelet. So then what's one, what you want to do is you want to select these two points that you just created. Make sure you select the point and not the line, but you select these two points and then you select the line string. And you can do that by clicking all of them while pressing sh the shift key. And then once you do on the top right hand corner here, it'll show us an action panel and there is a button called split lanelet. So you want to split the lanelet here. And then when you do that, you notice you can see that the lanelet was split into two. So now we have this lanelet here and then this lanelet here on the right. So the lanelet on the right, are they're both now set to a maximum of 100 kilometers per hour. But for example, we can select this lanelet here, which we just split it up. And we can change the speed limit on the bottom right corner here to maybe like 60 um. 60 kilometers power. So then once it reaches, once the car enters this lanelet, uh, it'll know that the speed limit specified on the map is 60 kilometers per hour. And then once you do that, you can go to file, export lanelet to map. Uh, here you can, there are problems, but you can um, press okay to, uh, to proceed. And then you can export. This is, um, you can keep it as it is and you can click download. And this should then download this newly edited lanelet map onto your, onto your, onto your on downloads folder. Okay, so that's it for this uh, section. Um, if you enjoyed it, we would like to go on more to more different aspects of how you can use this tool as well. Okay, thank you.